In this video, we're going to be taking a quick walkthrough of the all-in-one encompassing online course building software called Kajabi. That's a lot to say. So I'm going to show you how to use this software for how to design a website. We're going to actually look into um, how you can manage your customers. We're going to look at how you can actually build online courses. And we're going to be able to see it. you can do all of this from just one dashboard. Pretty cool. What is up YouTube? I am Fish Fisher with Review Online Course, helping creators like you find the tools they need to help build a successful online business. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you aren't, well then welcome back. Remember all the links that are actually mentioned in this video, they're gonna be found in the box below. All right, let's get started. Creating an online course is one of the most consistent, reliable, and easiest ways to make money online and sharing your passion on the internet. Using all-in-one softwares like Kajabi keep your whole business located under one roof and give you a great canvas to build out your entire online business. So right now we're going to take a look at the back end of Kajabi and through a simple basic walkthrough show you how you can use Kajabi to run your online business. Alright guys and I also have a great bonus for you. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video where I show you actually how you can get yourself a free pair of Apple AirPods. Who the heck doesn't want one of these? All right, so welcome into the back end of Kajabi. I like it even gives you a little welcome message right here. Fish, let's build together. I like that. So please do not judge my teaching abilities based off of how much profit I've made. This is actually just a template. Um, I hope I wouldn't be trying to teach you anything if this was the kind of results I was gonna get, bring, bring to your table. But anyways, this is the back end. They keep it pretty simple, right? They give you this, some little updates right here, which are kind of cool. You can actually go here at the assistant. This is a shortcut tool. You could type in chat if you needed to talk to someone. They've got great support. Always you have the ability to chat with a Kajabi member right off the bat at any time of the day. Now you can see how they've made this really simple for us. We've got people, we've got marketing, we've got products, and we've got website. We've got those four. So we have website, products, marketing, and people. That's it. That's how they break those four categories or those four sections into. Well, that's pretty simple, right? So let's expand these and take a look at each one and what that really entails. So let's start with the obvious choice. Let's start with website. So if we open the website, we can see you get a design option, you get pages, you get blogs, you get analytics. All right, so what does the website entail? Well, the website page, you have a home, you have a library, you have a store, and you can customize each one of these pages. Just to give you a little bit of a sample, let's hit customize, and this would be, this would be essentially the landing page uh, your home page of your website and you can custom this out. You can put a form up here, you can have these headers, you can put a logo, you can have a sign-in feature, uh, a cool little graphic card, a, a call to action, um, you can have some cool icon gallery pictures. Um, but you get the point. You can design a website right here I put social links in there. You can design it right inside of Kajabi. So how cool is that? And it's actually pretty sleek looking. It's actually pretty attractive. So let's move back. This is all the things. It's pretty drag and drop. Look, you can move this around pretty simple. You can kind of click into this. You can see exactly, okay, I want to change the header. I can change that right away. Um, I don't know what that word means. I just typed, <laughs> but it would pop up right here. Um, you can change the background image. You can actually put a video in there. But I love the drag and drop feature. That's what's the coolest thing for me as you can kind of just move this around wherever you want. That makes life really simple. Also, if you're not sure if you want to keep something or not, well, you can actually just click this and unhide it. You can hide things or you can unhide them, which makes it really easy. Because um, sometimes it's tough when you delete something inside a website. You don't know if you want to lose it or, or leave it or not. So this is a really good option because it gives you this opportunity to hide that little section. So let's move back. Um, and you can customize anything. You can customize the font, all sorts of things, the colors, the theme. Um, they've got an awesome uh, theme, like an awesome amount of like just themes to choose from, like endless possibilities. So these are templates that you get to start off with because you don't not, you're not going to, like we don't expect you to be a coder or, you know, a developer. Uh, Kajabi knows this. They say, hey, listen, uh, we know that you probably are no good at designing websites. I know I'm certainly not. So here's some websites that are already like 80% done with like, 
Uh, even kind of the language and the copyright is written for you in some of these. You can click on these and, it, and then scroll through it and see exactly what it looks like. And you're like, well, that, that's cool, but I'm gonna keep browsing. And you can look through that, which I thought was really, really cool. You can even go back some, to some old school themes that they've actually um, gotten rid of, but they're still relevant and they're still cool and you can still utilize those. So I don't make this too long, but you get the point. I'm beating a dead horse here, really with all the kind of cool designs that you can get from that. Um, in each one of these, you have the option for pages as well. So if I wanted to create a page, and keep in mind, Kajabi allows you to have pretty much unlimited pages in some of the plans that you get, you can actually choose a ton of pages also. And what's cool about this is you can actually have a synergistic website. It's not some online course, um, website that you buy and you can't add any pages to it. You get this awesome ability to actually add pages onto that. So that's kind of cool. Blog, that's pretty self-explanatory. You can write your own blogs and you'll see those on a particular page and you can keep adding to that blog, which is kind of cool. You can preview it right here. So let's move back to analytics. Uh, these are the analytics you don't want when you're actually trying to build an online course. Uh, maybe when you're just starting, so let's put it at that. That's probably better. You've got some zeros across the board, but we've got these cool little, hey, metrics. When you start to make money, you get to see your opt-ins, you get to see how many people are viewing your page, how many offers you've sold, what's the progress, how much of the product, the digital product that you have, how much has the actual student watched? So you can reach out to them and say, hey, I noticed you haven't been watching your videos. What the heck? Or hey, I noticed you completed this task. Here's some extra cool bonus videos for you for some homework. Uh, some affiliates, which is really cool. Kajabi gives the ability to have affiliates. You can actually have people uh, basically promote your product and make money off of it. You, it's a win-win. But moving off of that, you get the idea for websites. Now let's look at products. Products is pretty simple. We've got products, which is the digital products that you make. These are your online courses. What does this look like? Well, you click in here, it's a digital product. It's a whole bunch of courses or lessons, I should say, that fall in this chapter of set up your grip for success. These are all like, you know, three or four minute videos that you can actually watch and see and people pay for. So those are your products that you build inside your little library right here. Now, this is a separate section. Since these are the products, these are the offers. Now, what's the difference? Well, products and offers. Offers is basically the price point for the product. Sometimes you're gonna have a product, but you're gonna charge two different prices for it. Maybe like a high price and maybe a low price to see which one sells. Well, instead of keep changing actually the, the product price round, you can actually create a new offer. So you can have multiple offers for the same product. I could sell this one for 180 and then I could run a special for the same product for 90. Let's see if it's not selling or maybe it's Christmas time, something like that. So those are your two little sections under products. You get products, all your products, and then you get the offers that you can actually add these offers in there, create those offers, and you can actually put a price point. You can actually even give them away for free if you wanted to, and then you know maybe restrict um, access to it within a week. So maybe then they go, well, I really like that, I wanna come back, and then you charge them. So you get payments, you can actually add coupons, you can kinda of give discount coupons and promos for that, sales pages to sell it. Um, but let's move on. Marketing is actually a bigger section. These are the pipelines. I wanted to kind of go through this pretty quickly and just show you if I was going to create a pipeline. Now, what's a pipeline? A pipeline is a string of pages put together to create a funnel so someone can kind of go through that. Well, you've got your first page. Once they do that, they get an email sequence. They get opted into that. Then they get this is the first email they get. This is the next video, shallowing. This is the next one where they get actually a swing tip then they actually get another video of two for shallowing with a different type of shallowing, then another type of shallowing, and then so on and so forth. Then actually an offer at the end, and then even um, putting them in another email sequence if they don't buy. So this is really cool because these pipelines, um, also known as funnels, are built for you. How easy is that? You don't have to do all the work, so you don't have to kind of think about what these pages are doing. You just click on build a pipeline, and uh, you get all these bells and whistles. I'll kind of show you what that looks like. You build a new pipeline right here, push this button, you pick one. They've got a couple different offers to choose from. We're gonna go for something really simple like a, a freebie. They're gonna tell you, okay, it's opt-in. You'll get one email and then a thank you page. That's pretty easy and they'll explain it right here. So I hit create pipeline. We'll call it freebie. 
will generate it and you know, some building your pipeline and bells and whistles and cool little animation graphics come up and then it says, hey, guess what? Your pipeline's now ready. It's that easy. That's how quick the pipeline was built for you. Now you can click in here and you can start changing things around. Anyways, so moving away from pipelines, this is because this is under marketing. This is how you actually market your product. This is email campaigns. There's two types of email campaigns that they offer. They offer a broadcast, which is basically you can just broadcast to a certain section of your customers, maybe people that didn't buy, maybe that people who did buy, maybe people who actually haven't clicked on your link yet, maybe people that actually have bought and you wanna kinda of offer them something else. So a broadcast doesn't be, have to be your entire list, it just has to be some of your list. And you can section it out or you can actually just hammer everybody with some emails. The other thing you do is an email sequence, which is kind of cool. And that email sequence is, let's just say the Swing Tip Sunday, you've got 36 emails in this, going out over 241 days. So email one, email two, email three, it just continues over and over and over again. You get to stipulate which day it goes out to them. So this is a cool way to keep people engaged. You can create all your email sequences up front, all your emails, and then send them into that kind of, uh, they can put them in that sequence and it's just hands free. You just can like allow that to run for you while you're still cultivating and, and generating value to them while sitting on the beach, just having a daiquiri, right? While this, the automations are going for you. And you can see this ad automation, which is really cool because you can say, hey, listen, if they click on something or they buy something in this email, let's take them out of this email sequence. So you can move them all around. So that's really, really cool. Obviously, that's a good segue into the actual automations here. This is where they're kind of hosted and held. You can kind of check to see and kind of edit them right there, or you can edit them where we just saw where I clicked that button. This is events. Events is a uh, workshop that you can run, something like a, a, a webinar, or maybe you want to host a live event and you want to kind of stream it through YouTube. You have the ability to do that. You get a registration page. It tells you when you're going to actually be seeing things, 60 minutes after, oh, one minute, you know, one minute before. They can remind you all these email sequences. So that's a really cool thing. If you're actually a real big person and you love webinars and you love events, and if you want actually maybe not even a live webinar, maybe you want a recorded webinar, you'd find that's in events and you would just run that continuously. I think I run like webinars like every three days, those recorded ones, but they're awesome because that's just an ability for me to be hands off and just allow automations to take over. So we look at forms, pretty much exactly what we'd expect. Uh, this is a freebie form or like maybe a teaching workshop form. It just tells you, hey, what would you like in here? Well, I'd like a name, I'd like an a email address, maybe you want a phone number, maybe you want um, an address because you're gonna send them something. You get to decide right here, maybe you wanna ask for their cell phone number, all those are options. Um, and then, last but least, we've got people. And this is pretty simple. This is where everybody's hosted. This is what we call a CRM, Customer Relations Manager. It manages all of your customers based on like whatever they do. And, and not necessarily just customers, prospects as well. So anybody who opts in who hasn't bought from you, hasn't become a customer yet, they're still like, they live in this particular area and you can kind of put you can, put mem you can put them as a member, you can put them as subscribed, inactive, uh, maybe they actually, was like a hard bounce, they didn't open it. You can retarget them, you can move, you have a lot of different um, opportunities here with this particular um, section here. And you can even manage the tags, so you can kind of put tags on each person and say, oh, this person actually bought, this person's a gold member, this person's actually a platinum member, let's take special care of them. And so your team can actually see what their tag is and kind of maybe treat them a little bit better. I don't know, because they spent a lot more money with you. I don't know. Maybe uh, you want to treat them better if they actually haven't spent any money. Who knows? So assessments, that's actually essentially, I haven't made any in here for you to see, but it's essentially a quiz or like homework. Someone's actually taken a course and you want to showcase to them uh, a quiz like after to see if they actually really did it, if they're not lying to you. Or maybe like an affiliate, right? So we've got affiliates. These are affiliates uh, that, you know, they love your course, they wanna kind of promote it, 
they can sign in and they can become an affiliate and they can make their own money and this whole thing tracks their entire progress for you. Extremely hands off, you don't have to do anything. They just have to send you an invoice at the end of the month for how much you owe them and you can kind of check on that, make sure they're not lying to you. And then if that's the case, you can actually send them money. So really cool uh, to have a built-in affiliate program inside your course, which is cool. And that actually pretty much sums it up for what you're gonna see. Those are the four sections primarily, website, products, marketing and people and that's it that's as simple as it gets the only other thing down here is Kajabi partners and I did tell you if you guys hung around towards the end I would tell you a little bit about that well Kajabi partners every time you actually become a Kajabi uh, hero or you actually buy Kajabi you become a partner which means that you can actually tell people about Kajabi that's actually what I'm doing right now I am a Kajabi partner um, as among other affiliate sites uh, and I wanted to showcase to you like this opportunity. If you want to use my link, which I actually will put down in the below in the box, I would like to give you a reward. I mean, you're clicking a link and you're giving me something. The least I can do is give you something in return. So if you click on an affiliate link and you buy a year subscription to Kajabi, I will send you a pair of AirPods. That's courtesy of me. That's the least I can do. You're gonna help me. The least I can do is help you back. So anyways, that's it, that wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. It's just a quick, brief walkthrough. I made it as quick as I could, um, and hopefully I did not bore you as much as some of those other videos out there, because I've seen some boring ones. All right guys, uh, enough joking around. I'll see you in the next video. Now if you guys are thinking about sharing your passion online and creating an online course, go ahead and click that link above and you're gonna get a free PDF that's gonna show you exactly how to build an online course. All right guys, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.